Okay, so Specialized have uh, brought out the new Tarmac disc. Probably to less of a fanfare than I was expecting. It sort of just kind of appeared. It's quite a big deal, really, I think. So I thought what I'd do is I'd have a look and see what the difference is between the rim brake version and the disc brake version. What exactly is the difference? Here we go. Here's a bike that we've looked at before, the S-Works Tarmac Ultralight. £9,000. Well, we're not allowed to know what the weight is on the website. It's just ultralight. If you watch any of my videos before, you'll know that I like this bike. It's good looking. It wins a lot of races at the top of my shopping list if I could actually afford an expensive one but hey ho so the disc version boom S-Works Tarmac disc it's more expensive 9,250 and again we have no idea what it weighs and just flicking between the two obviously the main difference is well the first one that I see obviously is the deeper section wheels that come with it and obviously the discs both bikes are Dura Ace Di2 other than they come with the S-Works carbon crank. Before we get into the obvious differences, let's just start up here. Slight difference to the hoods on the Dura Race between the rim and the disc version of the levers that you can see there, but very similar really. And then everything looks very similar, other than slightly beefier fork on the, the disc version, as you can see there, to compensate for the extra braking power, I imagine. It's actually worth looking at the the geometry for these two bikes just before I go any further. If you happen to be, I think it's about six foot two, or between six foot two and six foot five, something like that, you can buy the 61 centimeter frame. And if you do that, you will then actually have a bike with exactly the same measurements as the rim brake version. However, if you're of a uh, slightly more my type of height, sort of 5'10", 5'11", you'll be looking at the 56, 58 and then there are a few changes to the the geometry first thing you notice actually is that the rim brake comes in a 44 which the disc brake doesn't so that's something you notice big difference around here is the chainstay length on the disc it's five mil longer and that is across the frame range there and that obviously extends the wheelbase by five mil. Actually the 58, it's only three, isn't it? Now, I'm no engineer, but I've tried to research this and as far as I can tell, it's to do with the width of the rear axle and the chain line. Presumably the rear axle needs to be wider for a disc brake bike, which then changes the chain line. And certainly Shimano have a minimum length for the, the chain stays with respect to the rear axle width. Now, if you know more about this than I do, please leave a comment below because I've tried to look this up and it's difficult to see exactly what is going on there. Anyway, that aside, oh, the other thing, there's a slight difference in seat tube angle, head tube angle, unless you're on the 61 or the 54. Now, interestingly, I've got these lined up pretty well and I don't really see a change in the angle there. So either that half a degree is really unnoticeable or they have photographed 54 or 61 centimeter frames can't believe it's 61 because that would be enormous what that adds up to is basically the disc version is five mil longer on the chain stay of most of these frames and if i turn on the guides here you can obviously see there what that means and it's not massive would you be able to tell the difference don't know without riding each bike now the other thing you notice quite quickly is the seat tube here rim brake Obviously the rear wheel is uh, closer to it. And they've obviously had to change that shape accordingly. The seat stays pretty much exactly the same. And again, the seat post, I can't see any difference there. The only other thing that I sort of noticed, and it's maybe the camera lens or maybe they photographed a different size I don't know whatever but crank if you line up the front so that's pretty well lined up there but if you then look at the position of the bottom bracket it looks to me like disc version has gone back a little bit but that could just be the photography so I don't know about that according to the geometry measurements they're exactly the same 
So there we go, very, very similar. Does the disc tarmac come in any different colors? Yes, you can get it in red, white, and black. Do I like it? Mm, it's not blowing my pants off, it's okay. Would I go black or red? Um, don't know. Be nice to see some different color schemes as well, I think. Something I did notice on a bike radar review of this bike, it kind of bothered me that the wheels still look like they've got the brake track on them, or at least the shape of the brake track. Now, in my mind, one of the whole reasons of having the disc brakes is so that we can get the wheels absolutely as aero as possible in conjunction with the, the thicker tires. So it's a shame to see whether or not this was just an early version or what, I don't know, but it's a shame to see what is nearly a nine and a half gram bike with a rim profile that still is for a rim brake bike but i could be wrong that's what it looks like to me anyway right so are there any other versions well again on a bike radar article i saw that they are introducing some new versions uh, there's none on the uk website at the moment um, but apparently there's the 10r and 9r that use a similar shape as the S-Works tarmac disc, but at a fraction of the price that are coming. I believe the seat tube is actually round, as opposed to the sort of more aero S-Works version. So we'll have to wait and see what they look like. Competitors-wise, what other choices have you got? Well, direct competitor, the Giant TCR, fantastic, fully blown own race bike so that's up there the canyon ultimate obviously again a fully blown race bike competitor two definite rivals to the tarmac there if you want something a slightly more endurance bias maybe you could look at the bmc road machine disc brakes or if you want something with a bit more climbing bias have a look at the trekamonda and in fact i rode a trekamonda over a two-day weekend trip to Portugal the other day and we covered about 300 miles and I fell in love with the bike I'll be honest it was excellent might have been down to the fact it had DI2 on it and that was the longest I've ever used DI2 yes I very much enjoyed the DI2 and probably won't buy another mechanical group set so there we go just my opinion as ever let me know down in the comments below if you have any thoughts on the tarmac disc and as ever if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel